Silver nitrate is an inorganic compound with chemical formula AgNO3. This salt is a versatile precursor to many other silver compounds, such as those used in photography. It was once called lunar caustic, because silver was called lunar by the ancient alchemists, who associated silver with the moon. In solid silver nitrate, the silver ions are three coordinated in a trigonal planar arrangement. Albertus Magnus, in the 13th century, documented the ability of nitric acid to separate gold and silver, by dissolving the silver. He was born in Swabia, entered the Dominican order, taught in several monasteries in Cologne, Hildesheim, Regensburg, was professor of theology at the University of Paris, and finally returned to Cologne, where he devoted the last years of his life entirely to science. Owing to his many-sided education and culture, he was honored with the surname Albert the Great also as Dr. Universalis. Magnus noted that the resulting solution of silver nitrate could blacken skin. Silver nitrate is made in large quantities by dissolving silver, in nitric acid. The molar mass of silver nitrate is 169.87 grams per mole. It crystallizes in transparent plates that melt, at 212 degrees centigrade. The solubility at 20 degrees centigrade is 222 grams per 100 grams of water. It is moderately soluble in methyl and ethyl alcohols and to a lesser extent, in various other organic solvents. When heated to about 320 degrees centigrade, silver nitrate loses oxygen and forms silver nitride. At a red heat, silver is formed. Silver nitrate is important as an antiseptic, in the industrial preparation of other silver salts, and as a reagent in analytical chemistry. Applied to the skin and mucous membranes, silver nitrate is used either in stick form as lunar caustic or, in solutions of 0.01% to 10% silver nitrate in water. The stick is used for removing warts and granulation tissue, and for cauterizing wounds and ulcerations. 1% or 2% solution is effective against gonococcal bacteria and may be applied to the eyes of newborn infants to ensure against blindness from gonorrhea. Pure silver nitrate is an intermediate in the preparation of other silver salts, including the colloidal silver compounds used in medicine, and the silver halides incorporated into photographic emulsions. In about 1717, Johann Heinrich Schultz, a professor in Altdorf in Germany, discovered that silver nitrate would change color when exposed to light. He found that a slurry of chalk and nitric acid into which some silver had been dissolved was darkened by sunlight, but not by exposure to the heat from a fire. To provide an interesting demonstration of its darkening by light, he applied stencils of words to a bottle filled with the mixture and put it in direct sunlight which produced copies of the text in dark characters on the surface of the contents. This paved the way for the first pictures to be taken and processed. Many German sources such as Credit Schultz as the inventor of photography. Thomas Wedgwood, son of the potter, captured real-world scenes with a camera obscura. He used paper and white leather coated with silver nitrate and exposed to direct sunlight around the year 1800. The paper was published with Humphrey Davy in 1802. Though the shadow images cast by sunlight and silver nitrate were impermanent, partial success have led some historians to call Wedgwood the first photographer. Henry Fox Talbot, an English scientist, inventor and photography pioneer, used silver nitrate as a photographic emulsion in inventing photography. Please see, the pencil of nature, described in detail. On 21 December 1864, Jules Bourdon, applied for a patent for a camera, which he christened the Dubroni pocket camera. This came from the idea of processing the exposed picture directly, inside the camera. The sensitizing silver nitrate solution was, a, introduced through a hole, in the top of the camera by means of a pipette, b,
As an oxidant, silver nitrate should be properly stored away from organic compounds. Silver nitrate is toxic and corrosive. Brief exposure will not produce any immediate side effects other than the purple, brown or black stains on the skin, but upon constant exposure to high concentrations, side effects will be noticeable, which include burns. Long-term exposure may cause eye damage.